What are we doing here? This is not good. What are they gonna fill? What did they fill them with? Is he ready? Oh yeah, he's ready. It's go time. What's happening? Howdy, folks. Welcome back to you, me, and the movies. And guess what? What? It's spring break. Woo! -hoo. So we're gonna watch some college-themed movies this week. Yeah, because spring break doesn't really matter for anyone else in life. Yeah. Unless you're in school. Yeah. So we're gonna watch Van Wilder, a comedy I'm so surprised you've never seen. Yeah. But no. as soon as you told me, I was like, okay, we're watching that. Never, never seen it. This is one of the. I didn't even know Ryan Reynolds was in it. Funny. This is the movie that launched Ryan Reynolds' career. Basically, this is what. Oh really? I thought that was the restaurant one. The. That was not really a hit. This was the first hit with Ryan Reynolds. All right. As a star. What I know. Yeah. National Lamp probably one of the last National Lampoon funny movies that's actually funny. There hasn't really been a National Lampoon comedy that has been a hit since this. I, like, I don't know. I might be wrong. Honestly, don't think there's been a National Lampoons that's been a hit since like vacation movies, right? <laughs> But apparently, Van the nineties were pretty dry for National Lampoon. I don't even remember American yeah. Pie. Was that a National no, Lampoon? American Pie wasn't. Oh, then, so, then, yeah, then. Yeah. Why haven't you seen this? I don't know. Honestly, it's weird to me too that I haven't You're seen so a comedy. Weird. So weird. Well, should we uh, head back to college and enroll with Van Wilder? I guess so. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for National Lampoons. Van Wilder. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to a video. Swan comedy access to polls up to pick watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Van Wilder Unrated. Here we go. The first day of spring semester. Time to say goodbye to the parents once again and say hello to a few new students. Very typical guys. Ryan Reynolds self. What is it called when they talk? Narration. Narration. Thank you. He has a lot of movies like that. You've just seen a lot of Deadpool. <laughs> Van Wilder. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ew, what is happening? He's great with these quick jobs, plus there is no substitute for decades of experience. Are we watching him get a blowjob right now? Perfect, you're a pro. Hey, look at me. Pro. Well, gosh, that was great. Thanks for the quick job there, uh, Suck Me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Suck Me. <laughs> that was like... What were you thinking uh, it about? It was really gross It was pretty obviously getting measurements for his pants. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Booger! Oh no. You don't want to do this. I didn't want to come here either. They made me come. They made me. Oh, Sherman. <laughs> First year can be kind of scary, can it, Tim? My, my name's not. Uh... But you know what I've learned in my seven years here at <laughs> Look at that ass, though, right? Almost MR. as nice as mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. You wish your ass looked like that. You can't let this leave you all the time. Sometimes you've got to heed this. I think that you got a lot of heart in there, mister. I mean, look around you. Oh, God. Timmy. Great work, man. Hey. <laughs> Don't be a fool. Stay in school. That was my credo in college. The last, well, seven years has gone by way too fast. So he went to school for as long as you did, then. Yeah. <laughs> I was the first ever male cheerleader at Huntington High. The first ever. <laughs> Give me a B. Give me an A. Give me an A. <laughs> Terry. Mm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's funny as you can do that too. That's not funny. <laughs> I can't do that. We'll definitely lighten your load. We will bend over backwards for you. There's nothing too big we can't handle. And we mean nothing. We'll stay on top of you. And ride you all semester. By the way, can you tell me if there'll be any international travel? Huh? Who are you picking? Terry. Who? I'm Terry. Oh, Terry. Okay. <laughs> Sir, you are not going to get away with Holy balls. Yo. He can't hardly walk. They are getting bigger, aren't they? <laughs> this movie's weird. Some big balls. This is a funny movie. Because it just seems kind of gross right now. Lighten up, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like sometimes the comedy hits and sometimes it's just like too much. It hit for House Bunny. Yeah, it, yeah. House Bunny wasn't too much. This seems like it's like it's trying too hard. I'm an exchange it's trying too hard to be funny. India. Welcome. What can we do for you? Don't come at me. I'm still open-minded. Kumar? Is that his name? No. Huh. I'm just like, is his he... name is Taj in this? Oh, I was like, is this like an off, like a off branch no. of Harold and Kumar? This is kind of his first big role too, though. I cannot go home a virgin. I came here to study the great American art of muff diving. <laughs> Dying at just one American pink taco stand, you know? And I want to do. How is it? Park the porpoise. You know, I want to take it through the car wash, baby, you know, and get it waxed. You, know? you don't think this is too far? Too much? It's college. Jeez. Who talked like that in college? All the guys. Okay. This is Sick Boy's room. Not a week's gone by, hasn't come down with some sort of ailment. Shingles, hepatitis, crabs. That was his fault. Chicken noodle Plus soup. soup. Jewish penicillin. Oh, matzo. And my 9:45 to Wednesday, you owe seventy-five thousand dollars for the speedboat. And can't hey. I get the next week? I feel like going. He's in Animal House. Is he? Yeah, he's like one of the main characters in Animal House, in that that frat house, Animal House. Van is still in school for the better part of a decade. Uh oh. Just pays for college. He doesn't monitor. Whether he graduates or not. Really go. Each article well written and extensively researched. Tara Reid, okay. Before American Pie, then. I think it's after. Right after the first one. That's why she's in college now. She's been in high school in American Pie. Oh, duh. Who's this S. McDougal? <laughs> He's gotta be pissed. It does not look good. Right, of course he's gonna go to the locker room, give him like a pep up talk, right? Pep talk? Pep up talk. Shermer. Uh Principal Shermer. From Breakfast Club? Yeah. They need me to. It's just so predictable, right? <laughs> it's the first time of my life, I'm glad I'm dip. <laughs> 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 I'd do anything for you guys. Which is why I'm throwing you a little soiree tomorrow night, but not without a W tonight. You want to know why? Because nobody wants to celebrate a loss, guys. Hey, man. You invite the freak honey for Mount Holyoke? I already did. Come on, fellas. We gotta pull up your yeah. yeah! Hey, get me psyched up. Some high percentage shots. That's how you, that's how you win. Winnie? I said 9.30. It's 9.20. I will be up when I'm done with my presidential responsibilities, all right? Okay. Who's my alabaster princess? Mm hmm? You are. Does he know what the word alabaster means? 
You're my there's alabaster nothing princess. about her skin color that is alabaster. <laughs> You're my alabaster princess. Very clearly. <laughs> She snort that? <laughs> Ugh. Excuse me. Where can I find Van Wilder? In the Guinness Book of World Fucking Records, man. Out of the rattest fucking dude alive. <laughs> oh, it was him that snorted it. No, it was Taj. He, sn he snorted that shot. I'm... Oh, I thought it was some chick. Oh, thank God. No jammy. Party foul. Oh, no, hey, hey. Don't... Oh, dear God. Oopsie. <laughs> Somebody punch her in the face. I'm staying here with my friends. Fine. Maybe your friends can pay your tuition. Because this morning I placed a stop payment on this semester's check. But sometimes in life you have to realize a poor investment and simply cut your losses. He's paying like ten thousand dollars a semester? <laughs> and he's been there for seven years? Uh. Didn't he already pay for the semester? Can't he just, you know, finish it up? What is that intoxicating scent you're wearing, Doris? I have cats. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Mr. Wilder, are you trying to seduce me? Who, me? No. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Guess what? I'm feeling a little cold sore. Come on, maybe we shouldn't do this <laughs> for three to six weeks. Shut up, bitch. Give me some sugar. <laughs> so, so, oh, oh. oh boy. The things you do to stay in school. Fill this out. It's the standard payment plan extension form. A standard. We didn't have to. Uh... But aren't you glad we did? Oh boy. Ay, ay, ay. She knows things no other woman knows. You can either mail this in or drop it off. Go, baby, go! <laughs> mail it in! <laughs> then you must make four monthly payments of $5,000 each. I'm four sorry. monthly payments of $5,000 each? So they've doubled his. <laughs> Seems like it, right? Wow. Exactly how much money do you have? He has only $34. Damn, man. What the hell are you going to do with $34, man? Seems like a good investment. Yikes. Just like that, topless tutors was born. <laughs> topless teachers. Welcome on back to You Mean the Boobies. I'm looking for information on a current student here, Van Wilder. Freshman year. There are more of these? It seems Mr. Wilder didn't quite come out of his shell until mid-sophomore year. Which sophomore year, though? The first or second? <laughs> It's like this itchy, rashy, burning sensation. And it hurts when I... That's not good. Some crazy kids with their crazy... BD. <laughs> I'm Gwen Pearson, staff writer for The Liberator. Please. Oh. Okay, look. That old bag is stronger than she looks, all right? I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'd love for your piece to be on me. But sadly, I don't do interviews. I never have, I never will. I do lunch, though. So, uh, what's your boyfriend's name? Does he go to school here? Does he appreciate you? That's none of your business. You know what? You're right. <laughs> ben, you have a 130 with the swim team. On it. You have an assistant? Yes, I do. <laughs> Is there anything you could tell me about yourself that I haven't already found out through public records? Uh-huh. I'll be at the quad tomorrow night at 10. Sound good? Yes. It's a date. It's an interview, not a date. She's got a boyfriend. Mm. 
naked something? Hey, Gwen, all right. You're just in time. Take your clothes off. I'm not taking off my clothes. Uh, well, it is the naked mile run. Everybody else is in their birthday suit. Is. Ooh. Except that guy. <laughs> that is he a hairy back. <laughs> this was a really bad idea. I'm leaving. Hey, are we going to reschedule or what? Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? Jeez. <laughs> These things could raise the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> the strip club owner got tired of using his B squad, so he came back for the starting lineup. Topless Tutors was dead. How much money did he make off that, though? I'm Panos Patakos, president of the Lambda Omega Mega Fraternity. I'm sure you're aware of our stigma. Yeah. But believe it or not, best GPA doesn't get you laid. Damn well it should. Amen. Just need to. <laughs> I am here to ask you to aid us in throwing a party. A party people will actually show up to. How much is your time worth? Panos reminded me that I had one very valuable skill I'd yet to tap. My undeniable ability to throw one hell of a party. Party planner. I look at you guys, and you know what I see? Collective GPA of 52,000? Yeah, no. I see a bunch of party animals crouched in attack position, ready to strike. Am I right? Totally. I'd like you to meet Sherry and Terry. Terry? No, different Terry. No, I'm kidding. Where's my Wilder story? There is no story, Elliot. The guy's a joke. I mean, he tries to turn every interview into a date. A good writer gets her story no matter what. Now, please get me the Wilder piece. He's throwing a big party tonight. A good writer gets your story no matter what. Such a gross thing to say. Hey, this is really a pimping good time. Yes, it is. Oh, 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 oh. Look who's checking out the battle and a bad. Her name's Naomi. That's I moan backwards. <laughs> Why aren't you in costume? I can't stay. I have to work tonight. But you're going to miss the biggest party of the year. It's hopping. Total sausage fest. Look, for some reason, my editor thinks you're a story. Well, what do you think? Well, as a story, I think you're a little soft. Uh, wow, all this time I thought I was more to you than just some flaccid story. <laughs> <laughs> Van is a godsend. I would have paid him way more than a grand for this party. How do you put a price on dignity? How do you put a price on Punani? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Somehow women do. <laughs> Not all women. <laughs> Brilliant, Pearson. I have been inundated with people telling me how much they enjoy reading about this guy. I want you to do a follow-up. I did your story, Elliot. I'm not doing another one. Even if I tell you it's going to be on the front page of the graduation issue in two months? That's the most popular issue It is in the, paper. the most important issue uh, in this paper. It's one with all the hats on the top of it. <laughs> That ointment really good. Thanks. Looking good there, buddy. Now what's wrong with him? Some sort of goiter. Time to call Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> you think that's a lipoma? <laughs> <laughs> Saturday night, yeah. That's fine. How did you From the paper. Yeah, that's that's fine. A free advertisement. Because of her article, practically everybody wants to have a party thrown by Van Wilder, the party liaison. Your cash camel has arrived. Cash camel. This is why I don't do interviews. You totally slam me. You journalists and your irresponsible reporting. Because I didn't want students to know that I threw the party. Yeah, they paid me, but that's not the only reason I did it. Those lambdas are cool in their own right. People just needed to realize it. It's not all about the money. Let me get the other side. All right, this is function I'm hosting tomorrow night. If you want, you can tag along. I'll be there. It's a date. It's an interview. Remember, today's assignment is about shadow, so don't get too hung up on details. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so much sinew I need a bigger pen. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at the bowl of fruit. She loved the pineapple. And that bowl of fruit. The pineapple? I don't know. I don't know. Not the banana? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Banana. That uh, makes more sense. Yeah. Banana. Pineapple? I was just going for something big. <laughs> and thorny? <laughs> Pokey? I didn't think it through very well. And okay. wide? I was just thinking, what's the largest fruit I can think of? <laughs> Pineapple. It's also the girthiest. <laughs> I apologize. I don't I don't know where I was going. He's nothing more than a mild wreck of lich. You know, you oh. You scratch it, and then you scratch it some more. The more you They're scratch. the dick fraternity. And there'd be Delta. Iota. Kappa. They wouldn't use the letters of it like that. They'd use... The symbols? The symbols, but whatever. I want you to have this. I score, you cooperate and answer all my questions. I miss dinner for two, me and you. Clothing option. The wall. <laughs> <laughs> My brothers play hockey <laughs> for the Rangers. <laughs> Maybe seven years of tuition is a good way to remind them that you're still angry. Most people want to get out of school so they can make money. You're trying to make money to stay in school. I. You know, I, I used to party with this guy who once told me, Van, don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out of line. That's exactly what I say. Is it? When have you said that? I've said that a lot of times. It's a first. With Gwen Pearson, who believes that censorship reflects society's lack of confidence in itself. You actually read that article? <laughs> Hey, look, don't tell anyone because if word gets out that I read my reputation, shot down. Is he taking any classes, do you think? We haven't seen him go to class, have we? Mm -mm. Where did you find that? In your it's room a penis today, pump. <laughs> it's no bong. It's for my schlong. <laughs> 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 You mean I put my mouth on your cock pump? Oh, damn. I don't even know what those things do. I'm not sure either, but apparently they make them bigger. That's a scam. It's like a vacuum, right? So it like... <laughs> yeah, but it's not the right kind of big you want. It's like paint. It's like unnaturally. Like, I cut off the blood circulation and now my wiener's going to blow up. Mm, looks familiar. <laughs> what? <laughs> you okay? Are you okay? I mean, you lay there, there just like she does. So, like, I think all women at some point they're like, "Are you okay? <laughs> What's happening here?" You shouldn't take life too seriously. You'll never get out alive. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means lighten up. That's why I don't wear tidy whities Let's crap in the chapter room and make the pledges clean it up. It'll be fun. Uh, I wish I could, Gordo. But I got dinner at Gwen's parents' house. Sounds special. It's wild they're gonna be there. Hey, guys. Hey, Richard. Is there anything I can do for you today? <laughs> she loves dicks. <laughs> I love dick. See you tonight, Gwen. The invite to the parents' house. This is... This is big. This is very, very big. Doesn't she have a boyfriend? Details. Do you know why I chose you as my assistant? So you could teach me how to muff die? <laughs> <laughs> 
May I help you? Yeah, I'm Van. Van! You made it. Evelyn, this is one of your daughter's acquaintances from school. There's room for one more, isn't there? Why, by all means, come in, please. What's his play here? I don't know. To make him feel inadequate? Van, this is Dr. Hankey, proctologist. Oh, well, holy crap. I hope you're not on call tonight, huh? <laughs> Dr. Beaverman, oh. OBGYN, Van Wilder, GLAD to meet you. And of course, Gwen's father. Oh, you know, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Uh, doctor? All right. So, am I here for a physical? Because I'm gonna need a few cocktails before I start coughing for you fellas. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Are you and Richard in the same fraternity? Oh, no, no, no. Van isn't exactly Delta Iota Kappa material. <laughs> Richard, you rascal. You never told me that you were a dick. Not that you had to. <laughs> Champagne. Richard, will you help me open it? Sure. Wow. If he's here, who's running hell? <laughs> <laughs> What exactly do you think you're doing out there? Proving a point. Your friend doesn't fit in. Where are you going? To go save Van, because God only knows what my parents and their stuck-up friends are doing to him right now. <laughs> He's got charisma. He knows how to party. Hey, what are you looking at, Hank? Right. You're up. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> he knows how to get people to loosen their belts. All right, Wilder. Let's dance. It's a good day to die, McDougal. Oh, that's great. Oh, a little thing has an airbag. What are the chances? What happened to you, Wilder? Don't think I don't remember. You got an A in my freshman economics class. You remember one thing, young man. Apathy is the glove into which evil slips its hand. I'll write that down. What? <laughs> Apathy is the glove at which I evil slips its hand. I don't need you to... It doesn't make any sense to me. I just, it just didn't require a, an explanation. I think I'll walk from here. <laughs> I want to apologize for what Richard did the other night. It was a really immature stunt. His name is Richard. His name is Dick. Uh, yeah. And he is a. That's why he called him Premed Dick. I thought he. And he wasn't offended because his name is Dick. I thought he was referring to his fraternity. No, he's just a double dick. Double dick. Oh, jeez. What are we doing here? This is not good. What are they going to fill? What did they fill them with? Is he ready? Oh, yeah, he's ready. It's go time. What's happening? What's happening here? They're jerking off the dog? Why is he taking pictures of it? <laughs> Why did he agree to jerk off a dog? Oh, lordy. Have you seen that dog's balls? He needed it. Oh, golly. What are those? Bismarck's or Eclair's? Eclair's? Well, I'll be damned. Wow. Look, I just need a little TLC. Wow. From the sisters of Sigma Theta Tau. Uh, we'll dig in, guys. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, creamy. You're awesome. Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, guys, Richard. Mm. Mm. 
before. I think I've had these before. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, makes my stomach hurt. Does your stomach hurt? My stomach hurts. No harm oh, he just broke his ass. They're not the prettiest moves I've ever seen. Yeah, they're bolted on pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> on fire oh yeah me too baby burning up they're really on fire though damn hot good thing that fountain was right there huh Burned his money stash. Oh man. Why isn't it in a bank? Could have put it in a bank. I need to see the grade transcripts for Van Wilder, please. I don't think so. Student transcripts are confidential. Sorry. Taking a page out of Van's books. All the water damage people are creating in this place. <laughs> It's about time that's going all digital, anyways. <laughs> you don't need to be shy about making your donations now! Tight <laughs> <laughs> squeeze. Oh, God. He's gonna feel that in the morning. Oh, that had to hurt. That'll take your breath away. <laughs> What's with the hat? I just came across a bit of interesting information. Matches her shirt. <laughs> Canine semen is perfectly healthy. In fact, it's surprising. Even 18 units shy of graduating for the past six semesters. What? What'd she say? What's going on with you, Van? You're actively trying not to get out of here. It's like eight credits shy from graduating each semester. The hat was a weird choice. I think it was her rain hat to get the transcripts. Oh. Uh, I don't think she was wearing another. She put a hood on. Let's get out of here. Go grab a beer. Are you insane? I study till 11, nine solid hours of sleep, protein, protein shake, shake in, in the, the morning. morning. Which gives us two hours and 53 minutes of study time. So, hon, please, focus. You were probably just like him in college. No, I'm a horrible studier. <laughs> I'm not good at studying. College was not my favorite. Yeah. No, did not enjoy it. Socially awkward meets, like, don't like big crowds. And every class you go into, there's, like, lots of people. It's, like, the worst. Hi, Donna. Hey, Ooh, hey, guys. They're all just like, hey, Van. Yeah. Doodles. I attended class today. Just about stayed the whole time, too. I'm glad you went to all your classes today. I shouldn't even be talking to you like this. And I shouldn't be in the women's locker room. <laughs> How often does your heart lead you into the women's locker room? Once a week. This would be a first. <laughs> I'm not saying that I've uh, never been in here before. I'm just saying usually it's a different part of my anatomy. <laughs> usually it's his brain? Totally. His penular gland. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. Penular. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, sorry, I'm not pre-med, okay? <laughs> the bakery's closed. I'm here to enlist your services. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a bachelor party. You didn't think she'd be interested in a fuck up like you, did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting look they shared. Hello? Gwen? Casey, I'm just using Gwen's computer. Is Gwen there? I really need to talk to her. She's at Richard's getting ready for the engagement dinner tonight. Message? Nope, that's all right. Does she know about the engagement? Bye, thanks for coming. Ah, Lindsay and Rob make such a great couple, don't you think? <sighs> yeah, I'm happy for this. It's someone else's engagement. Gwendolyn Elizabeth Pearson, I'd be honored if you and I surgically and spiritually grafted our lives together. The Richard and Gwen life plan is kicking in. <laughs> He's so weird. He's doing a great job of playing really weird. My parents know about this? Well, yeah, I told everyone. Where are you going? She didn't say yes. I'm not sure. And for some reason, I feel really good about that. Ooh. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I know you were right. Believing for so long. Dope song. That's that One Tree Hill chick. Sophia something. Yeah. Something. Originally performed by Air Supply. Who's Air Supply? The band that's playing. <laughs> you must be Gwen. Truck driver. Gwen. Hey. Truck driver? Hold up a second. What are you doing? What am I doing here? What were you doing in there? As smashed as I am, I'm pretty sure that's my room. Wasn't it? What was that girl? A freshman? She reads at a sophomore level. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come to hire me to do your bachelorette party? Because your party pimp has already been booked. Why don't you two tie in the knot anyway? Because seriously, Gwen, I'd really like to hold that date open. That is none of your business. And you know what? You're none of mine. Sounds to me like your rectal itch was getting a little late night booty scratch. First, my bitch turns down my proposal, then she went straight into that loser's arms. Now I my bitch? Okay, listen up. We've got one quick stop off before we go. Tit wad! <laughs> Jeez. Tit wad, that's a new one. I've heard of that. Have you yeah, heard of a you tit wad? Shoot before? a spit wad at the tits. I got that. It's the first time for me. That's right, drink up. Oh no. This tastes like shit. You want me scotch? <laughs> <laughs> we got a, an anonymous tip. There's some underage drinking going on here. Hutch? Hell no, nah, man. I've been at the door all night. I love you, man. No, man. I love you. Oh, Us no. circus midgets cannot hold their booze. <laughs> Does that, that work? <laughs> that bus must smell great. Yeah. You know I have my Northwestern interview next week. Look, I need you to help me release some pressure. Just so we're clear, when I'm talking about intercourse. Oh my god. We make such the fab team. Last night, I was so like Bonnie, and you were so like Clyde. And now this? Will you shut up! I'm trying to pleasure you. Sorry, Richard. <laughs> pleasure away. <laughs> P.S. This is an awesome room. P.S. Shut the fuck up. I think they're a great match. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. She loves dick. Well, she does, <laughs> yeah. You got kicked out of school? Well, yeah, you know. You allow underage drinking at a campus party. It never happens at campus parties. 
No. Of course not. He found an exemption or something. Do you want my hot tub or should I just give it to Milty? We can get the law club to help us out. They owe you after the sumi scrumi soiree you threw for them. <laughs> I, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm really not interested though. You're not hearing me. I'm trying. It's over, Taj. Sumi scrumi soiree. <laughs> I say, I say, fuck you, 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 you pussy ass motherfucker. <laughs> Seven years. I've accomplished nothing. There's no reason to stay here anymore. And who cares about promise made to a vet behind the ears kid from India whose only dream was to bury his face in a beautiful woman's lotus patch. <laughs> <laughs> could only dream about back home while masturbating in my father's woodshed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross. He still hasn't dived into some muff yet? Apparently. Still seeking the magic muff. Sounded gross coming out of my mouth, too. <laughs> They're all researching. Get me the law club. It's like Garrett went to Greendale. <laughs> Pan saves lives. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. um, I've been a student here for seven years, and I've... Uh... Let Van stay! Let Van stay! <laughs> oh, shit. Continue, Mr. Weldon. Hope Milton's okay. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> He's good. See, after this is real life, and, uh, and I wasn't ready for that. Uh, I don't know why. Exactly. I do know that I don't want to end up like my father, whose whole life revolves around work. But I'm ready to move on. Well, that's that. Good luck, loser. Who's ready for lunch? Mr. Bag, you will be quiet. His name is Dick Bag. <laughs> <laughs> is that the first time we've heard his last name, or did I just miss it? I think it's the first time. <laughs> Fucking Dick Bag. <laughs> If you'll kindly take a look at my transcripts, you'll see that I'm a mere 18 units shy of graduating with a degree in leisure studies. <laughs> leisure studies? Reinstate me, let me audit my last six classes, take the necessary finals, and leave Coolidge. With a degree. How's that a punishment? Helps their statistics. Graduation, right? I guess. Take facts and add them to it. needs in order to graduate? Biology, English Lit, Calculus, Economics, Sociology, and Political Science. Wow, it's quite a load. Well, Van can handle quite a load. <laughs> <laughs> I vote reinstatement. Mr. Bag. Expulsion. Ms. Haver. Reinstatement. Over and over. Okay. <laughs> you know, I've waited a long, long time for this day to come. Either way, Van Wilder's tenure here at Coolidge is over. Let's see what the kid's made of. A good professor sees your true potential. Sure, right? yeah. Dick supporter. See, me and Richard's unspoken bond blossomed the other night in one beautiful symbiotic act, messing up that Van Wilder party. And then we bumped uglies. It was the best 10 seconds ever. <laughs> All right, I have a written exam first and then an interview with five Northwestern alums. That's why I came, to help make you your shake. I'll see you downstairs. Colon blow, nice. For fast, effective relief. <laughs> oh. mm. You deserve it. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good dog. He's about to blow his colon all over that classroom. <laughs> oh no. Hey, surprise! I'm on your all exam board. Hey, look, come on in here. I want you to meet your future alumni. <laughs> Richard, is there something you want to say? You look like you want to get something out, son. Oh my god! That's brutal. That's brutal. So I think gross. he might need a second can. Canine scrotum? <laughs> Lucky draw. Come back. I want you to tell me what Robert Frost was trying to express here. I'm going to need at least one more booklet. What? In other <laughs> Essay exam. <laughs> Ouch. Your time is up, Mr. Wilder. Pencils down. You think he passed? Definitely. As you're all aware, Van was almost expelled. What you probably don't know is that he was set up by a pathetic, egomaniacal frat boy. One who this reporter knows firsthand of a serious problem with premature ejaculation. That colon burn was effective. Yeah. This rectum will never be the same. <laughs> you succeeded. 91%. I've been waiting all these years for you to realize your potential. That's why you and I had friction? God, I always thought it was because I fooled around with your daughter freshman year. <laughs> why? What? You fooled around with my daughter? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi. My name is Arisa Punjab Nizamabad. Hi. I've just transferred here from Bangalapur. Schwing. <laughs> May I? As long as we cuddle afterwards. <laughs> I was scared that you wouldn't come. Well, I was trying to decide what panties I should wear. Which ones did you choose? None. It's going to be a good night. She's wearing a very short skirt. <laughs> One last night of debauchery with the fellas. Okay, my shit together just once. That was the most uncomfortable scene. <laughs> oh god. Poor guy. Oh man, my mama never told me I'd be doing this. <laughs> Kids, this is what white jockey blow and hookers will do to you. <laughs> Where's that from? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've graduated from Coolidge College. From Coolidge College. Van Wilder. What do you think? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. I think the most iconic moment from this is the, the donuts. The, the eclairs. The eclairs. The Bismarcks. The, uh, the cream filled donuts. Oh. Oh, so gross. They're still warm. So gross. <laughs> There's the 
a line in there. It's like, I think I've had these before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's Grossest a good thing one. ever, yeah. for sure. But what was the funniest moment for you? I don't remember what I laughed hardest at, but I feel like the part that I laughed hardest at wasn't that funny. Like it was more subtly funny. Dick bag. Dick bag. Yeah. Just, dick bag. You had to be paying attention <laughs> to get that. The fact that is dick Richard. Bag. His name was. He's yeah. gonna be Doctor Dick Bag. Doctor Dick Bag. <laughs> that's yeah. the that's the funniest yeah, just part. Just a little of tiny the... subtle written yeah. joke there. But yeah. I, it started off a, just a little too over the top oh, for me. National Lampoon's college movie. I know. It just expecting? started just a little too hard. When was the last time you watched Animal House? It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. But I think Animal House is better for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's all time great. Yeah. But I, this is probably the last good National Lampoon comedy. Okay. Right. And it launched Ryan Reynolds into stardom. Right, this is probably Tara Reid at her hottest yeah. Yeah. Perhaps. This and American Pie. She was really on top of the world after these two movies. Mm hmm. There's actually a sequel to this Van Wilder 2? The Rise of Taj. Oh, Taj's nice. Second year at school, school. I've actually never seen that, but. I can imagine it's yeah. horrible. Ryan Reynolds is in his. I don't think he's in that. Maybe it's as a cameo. Yeah, exactly. You know, comes back for a alumni weekend Break, or something. Just one scene or so. But yeah. Homecoming. Good old college comedy. Gotta love them. When did this come out? They really make college seem awesome. 2002. So yeah, this was it's my... It's not awesome for everyone. This came out like... When you graduated. Like your first year, first year of college. college. Yeah. So, of course. This is, yeah, was this, your college experience That's why I went like to this? college for seven years. Was your college experience like that? Pretty much. Oh, yeah? By the end of it, no. <laughs> Interesting. No. He kind of... There's a lot of uh, back to school in this. His dorm room is a lot like running Dangerfield's dorm room and mm -hmm. back to school. A little bit. Right? The law. It's just the whole, he gets a whole block, a floor blocked off for him. Yeah. Right? Knocked basically. down some walls. He's got a jacuzzi in there. Mm hmm. Classic. Yeah. Celebrity. So 18 credits. That's all he needed. That's basically. That's a lot, though. It's like a heavy semester. Yeah. Right? If you were, like, really trying to get through college fast. So. Right. He's basically like failing a class every semester just to not make through it. Yeah. I guess so. Or just going really light schedule and actually not going to class or something after some point. I don't know. At what point does he get on ac pr academic probation, though? He right. would have gotten on academic probation a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. I also kind of wonder, like, academic probation, like, sure, but they're paying you to be there. So, like... Yeah. Even if they're failing, as long as they're paying, shouldn't they still be allowed to go? I think it's uh, the school's got to weigh money over us. Uh, you know their their statistics that they advertise how. Well oh, you think it's a statistical thing? Like, yeah. oh, if people keep failing yeah, classes, high, then high our graduation statistics rate. go down. So parents want to send their kids there because the graduation rate's high, and they focus on academics and not. I feel like if you're paying, they're not failing people. Twenty thousand dollars a semester to be going to school there, even if you're failing your classes, you should be allowed to stay. Yeah, I'm not sure what college That's is like stupid. these days, but 20, 20 years ago, it's pretty accurate. Academic probation, give me a break. Honestly, they should be giving you free tutors for paying twenty thousand dollars a semester. Yeah, they should be offering free tutor services. Well, he was doing um, titty tutors, yeah. yeah. Tutors hmm. with tits. Interesting. Anyhow, Topless tutors. We don't need to get into the uh, American educational system right now. <laughs> yeah, well, you think Van Wilder went on to be a party planner as his real life job? Definitely. Right. Yeah. Throwing massive, awesome parties every weekend for people. For sure. He was good at that. Good at that. What should people comment on after Van Wilder? Favorite part? Yeah, what's their what's favorite, favorite part one? of Van Wilder? And where does this rank in National Lampoon comedies? Yeah. Right? yeah. Have there been any good ones since then? Like To stack up to. Yeah. I think this is the last good one. Might I be. can't even think of a 90s Van, uh, National Lampoon movie. I don't movie. know any. I, I literally only Other know the vacation like the vacation ones. movies. Yeah, like and Animal 90s. House, of right. course. But yeah, let us know. Yeah. 
Thanks for hanging out for Van Wilder. Come back next week for not a spring break movie. Oh, yeah, spring break's over. It's only a spring week. Spring break's over. Yeah. See you next week. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, only cover access to polls. So, big watch text. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.